Hi, it's Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today is the 29th of August, which means I've been on summer break for I think over a month. I have been very, very busy. I have not had a spare minute. I've been working three days a week and in between that I've been meeting people, I've been having a good summer. But with that, I have also been getting very, very stressed because there's been a lot of stuff that I've been putting off doing. Things like decluttering my entire bedroom, buying stuff, cleaning out eggs enclosure, like I need to redo it all, summer work, artwork. There is a very, very, very long list of things that have all piled up and started to stress me out. I'm going to use this video to force me to do all of that stuff. The first thing that I need to do is actually go take a shower because I was at the beach today with some friends who I haven't seen in a while and now my hair feels, it doesn't look it, but it feels sandy and like salty. So I am gonna go in the shower. I am going to quickly wash my hair and then I'm gonna come back and make a list of things that I need to fix and get on top of. Out of the bath. I've got pajamas on, my hoodie. This is from Brandy Melva, I got it for my birthday. We have a discount code. While I'm sat here, looking like Severus Snape, I'm going to write a to-do list. My aim is to get all of this stuff done by the end of the week, because I start school in a week, and I want this done. <laughs> I can't spell. I've moved to my desk. That's how you know I'm in business. Okay, not too much. Here is my to-do list. It only took up two pages in the end. So this list includes sort of two types of things. One of the things that I need to do is tasks. Things like tidying my bedroom. And the other section of things I need to do is I need to do to implement better routines. So it's things like going to bed earlier. So. Redo eggs enclosure. I need to redo eggs enclosure. I need to deep clean my bedroom. Now this is one of the things that should take up like a page of points because there are loads of little things I need to do in my bedroom, but I've left it as one. Implement early morning routine. I want to wake up at 6 a.m. I want to stretch, exercise, or practice ballet in the mornings. I want to eat less unhealthy food because, oh my goodness, I'm so bad for it over the summer. I've had a habit of eating like loads and loads of desserts a day too many and I want to do that less. Read before bed, I want to start reading before bed again. Implement earlier and con more consistent night routine. So I want to go to bed earlier, I think I worked it out as I want to go to bed at like 10. I want to stretch at night as well. I want to journal at night. I want to complete three art paintings by the time I go back to school. 30 minutes of re revision a day or every other day because I have some tests when I go back. I need to water repot and fix some of my plants because some of them have gone a bit funky. I need to buy some autumn body wash and scents because autumn's coming up and I really, really love it and I want to get excited about it. Um, I need to buy some Sudocreme and make it remove because I don't have any. Reply to messages because I'm really, really, really bad at replying to people. I am the worst person ever for it. I'll read them and then I'll just forget to reply and it's really bad and I need to just reply and stop putting off replying, which is so pointless, I don't know why I do it. I need to put a shelf up, here. Um, I need to reorganize my school folders, that sort of goes under the bed on. So, a lot of things to do, not a lot of time to do them. I think I should start with my bedroom because a clean area makes it a lot easier for me to be motivated to get stuff done. <laughs>
little update because it's been a while since I caught up with you. I had dinner. That whole section's done. Underneath is done. This is all art stuff that I keep putting under there. Now I'm having to sort through it. Lighting's probably looking a bit funky now. That is because it is now 10 past nine. I have got a lot of stuff on my floor right now from like decluttering. I've got a bag of rubbish, which needs putting in the fire. I didn't do the top two drawers, but I did the bottom. So, so far it's been really successful. Done quite well. I mean, this was the main area that needed doing because my wardrobe I tidied recently and I've stayed consistent with it. So I'm just gonna move all of this stuff out of my way so I can relax and see the progress I've made. According to my to-do list, the things I want to do at night are stretch at night, I have to stretch, journal and read. I'd say that's all right, I can do that. Put everything away and I'll be back. Hello and welcome to my peaceful environment. I told myself I'd stretch, so now we're gonna stretch. Can you see that? That's Ruby's room and that's my room. Oh, and that's my room. Hers is like a spaceship. Okay, today on my to-do list, I started with my room, got a huge chunk of that done. I stretched, I'm going to bed earlier. I did the routine, I journaled, which I didn't put on camera. Now I'm gonna be reading. So that is a huge section done. The book I'm reading is The Goldfinch. I haven't started it yet, so I'm gonna read this. I've set an alarm for six tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Good night. It is day two of completing my to-do list. So today I had work. This morning, on day two, I woke up at 6 a.m. when my alarm was set. And when I got back from work, me, my mum and my sister all went to B&M where I bought some stuff which were on my list. Thing number one, I got my makeup remover which was on my list. Thing number two, my pseudo cream, which is also on my list. These were things that I'd actually been putting off getting. I'm gonna go put these away. Very, very happy with that. One thing fully ticked off. The other things I got were storage. These are the storage pieces I got. From B&M, it was on sale from eight pounds to four pounds. And then I got this bamboo thing, which is 10 pounds. It's a cutlery tray, but I think I've got you used for it. I currently have separators in here, but they're just not working. You see that? Because this drawer and this drawer are a mess. I will show you the drawer I did yesterday though. Yesterday, under this set of drawers got done and the bottom one did. There we go. Nice and neat. It's just like school stuff and pencil cases so I keep stationary. Here's where we're starting. That's where my hairbrush went. It's actually nine o'clock, which means I should be preparing for bed now. But 
My dad said he can help me with egg, so I'm gonna push going to sleep a bit later. I will get up at six tomorrow. It will force me to go to bed early tomorrow night. Bedroom's feeling clean. Egg is about to get a new bedroom as well. I actually have a collection of like rocks that I'm gonna be putting in because we're putting like slate in his enclosure now. Well, this is slate. This is a mix of stuff, but it has some really, really pretty colors. His enclosure is fixed. What needed doing is the substrate needed to be taken out and replaced with slate because it's getting dirty and it's hard to clean in there. But that is another thing ticked off. It is currently 10 past 10. I'm kind of on time. I think instead of doing the things before bed, I'm gonna go just to bed and then carry on with my routines tomorrow. <laughs> I am going to show you my bedroom at night. I'm gonna get Ruby's reaction to see if she notices. Ruby? Yeah? <gasps> oh, it's like Christmassy. Do you see the difference? Oh, it smells nice. It looks really pretty. All to me, and that <gasps> candle was amazing. This candle's so nice. My cousin got it for me for Christmas. So, you might be able to hear the rain in the background. Techie things that I need to do are I need to buy some autumn body wash scent stuff, um, reply to messages because I am awful at it. And that is it on my phone and laptop. I have found something that I'm gonna buy. Instead of buying a body wash and a body moisturizer, I'm just gonna go with the moisturizer because I couldn't find anything for like cheap enough and I'm not willing to spend loads of money on this. It's just something that I wanted to get in an autumn spirit because I love autumn. This is what I'm gonna get. It's from a brand I've never shopped from before, but it's on Amazon. The reviews are really good as well for it. Like, look how good that is. I remember one of the reviews speaks about how it also has hints of cinnamon. So this sounds good and apparently it stays all day. Next thing I've got to do is reply to messages. I can't believe I have to put this on my to-do list. Ooh, there's one. Yay, made plans with a friend who I've been trying to make plans with for a month because I don't reply to messages and it's bad but it's on my to-do list and I will start getting better at it because that's one of the things that will come with like better routines, like better night routines and better morning routines. One more message to reply to. Okay, all my messages to reply to. That never happens. That wasn't as hard as I'd made it out to be in my mind. It is now Thursday and I have some painting to do. The one that I'm gonna try and complete, I probably won't complete it, is one of Ruby. First of all, that's the section that I'd done, but I was using a brush too small on this section which left too much variation in tone that she doesn't have on her face. I was getting too detail oriented. What I think I've learned is that you can be detail oriented on like the eyes and features, but for the actual skin tone, it makes people look blotchy. I've got a bit better since the other video I did. Let's set up. Got a board. This is a painting the Mona Lisa that I started. I'm probably not gonna finish it actually because I mean, I learned what I needed to learn from this painting actually. And I can take it off this board now. So that's gonna stay as it is. Time to get some painting done. For anyone watching this wondering where to start on a painting or what colors to start with, I would recommend the three primary colors, blue, yellow, and red, and white. And if you wanna know how to make a skin tone, you take some red, some yellow, and blue. It may look weird, but this is the basis for a skin tone. Now, whatever colors you add, make it any other skin tone, you know. I'm paying myself now because, see, I started the painting of Ruby ages ago and I've sort of lost my train of thought on it. So, this is the portrait so far. 
Ooh. It hasn't got eyes right now. Yes. There are a couple parts of this portrait that aren't perfect, but I broke a barrier in doing this. What happened is I started painting rubies and thought, no, I can't do this. I started Ruby's portrait ages ago and I sort of had a train of thought with it and I was noticing that colors were off. So I was just getting frustrated and I thought, no, I need to just start a new one. So I started this one and with the image, the original image on my phone, I turned the clarity of it down completely and I forced myself to look at it as blocks of tone. And what I kept telling myself is that this is not gonna be the finished product, right? Oh, there'll be layers going over this or blend in between tones. Here's the thing, right? When I'm painting an apple or something, this is the stage I get it to before I do the finishing touches and I'm always really shocked. And I just realized I've done this with this portrait. I've done the thing I do and I didn't need all the details that I thought I needed to make it look like a face. Anyway, there's my long-winded explanation. Hello, es ist Freitag Morgen. I need to stop speaking German in these videos because people are gonna think I'm good at it. Here's where we left off last night but this image will be developed. So far so good though. That's the original. I know she has more color on her face. That's probably the biggest mistake I've made. I think I'm gonna start now doing details. And the first detail I'll be doing is the eyes. Fun fact, I keep telling myself I'm painting apple. I struggle with portraits. I find them so tricky. On my painting so I've actually done two two out of the three which is I think a really really good turnout I'll obviously keep doing them well into the year but two out of three in my eyes pretty good I do want to show you some food I've made it's occurred to me that I haven't actually shown any of it yet so what I've made is my mum made chili so I was just heating it back up on like a bed of lettuce with cheese and sour cream but we use yogurt as sour cream I'm excited to eat it it looks really good so yeah Healthy eating? Thick. My media studies summer work is basically revision. My teacher's done it in a way that means you can't really get out of it because it's like, you have to answer questions and then he'll make you hand the sheet in. It's a lot later now and I have done a good amount of work. I've also eaten. Woohoo! It is the next day now. I am gonna show you my bedroom. I am so happy about it. It looks so clean and so nice. I now have a shelf. This has all my succulents on the wall, my windowsill, cluttering space. My dad put that up for me. I am so happy that I finally got this shelf up because it's something that I've actually wanted to install for ages. I have a lot of plants and I love all my plants, but sometimes they end up cluttering spaces. I like to have them all in like one place and they get good light up there. Next area of my bedroom is my wardrobe. My wardrobe has some plants on. One of these plants actually used to be by my bed. It wasn't benefiting from the lighting there. So I've moved it up here because it was starting to like wrinkle 
my bathroom area still hasn't been fully decorated yet, so I'm not gonna show that area. X enclosures changed. I've taken all the soil out because when he sheds and the soil sometimes gets wet, he eats it. We first used Eco Earth and then we used a natural one and I don't want him eating it. So we've taken the soil out and replaced it with slate and he's been loving it. I see him walking around quite a lot at night. As of these drawers, I've cleaned them all out. I cleaned under, they used to be loads of clutter under there. This drawer is school supplies. It's a lot neater than before. This is hair stuff, all been sectioned and organized. And this is makeup, look how organized. This is lips, base, eyes, eyebrows, party and tools and then palettes. My desk area was already pretty clean. Moving it was just cleaning it, wiping it clean, making sure it's not dusty. I put a few crystals on there as well and I moved a plant. This section is my book section. It involved quite a bit of cleaning but it was more just reorganizing a bit. This section was the main one. <laughs> This area has my GCSE art piece in and down there I have some of my A-level art which I'll be bringing into school when school starts up again. I have a painting my dad did me which never had like a proper place before. This is one of my prized possessions, this painting. I've cleaned all my windowsills completely. I've moved my plants slightly out because they were in front of the window before, slightly to diagonal of the window to bring more light into my room. We're now at one of my favorite sections of my bedroom. This section, I have moved the plant. I've got a different one on, which I love because it's always flowering. I can keep tricking it into flowering. I have a little ballerina ring stand um, to put my jewelry on at night, which I like at the moment. My record player has its records on now and my teddy bears are still at the top. Last but not least, onto my bed. One thing you'll probably notice that's been changed is I have different paintings up. That's because the ones that I had before, I was sort of getting fed up of seeing. So I moved them out of the way and I replaced them with just two prints. I might change it again, probably around Christmas time. On the top, all my plants are still trailing. My bedside table has also been rearranged. So that is my seven days done of completing my to-do list, completing tasks I've been putting off, and getting myself in better routines to go back to school. I've really enjoyed filming this video. From it, I've gained a very, very tidy bedroom, zero tasks to do, and a head start on schoolwork. And for anyone watching who has been putting off work, I hope it helped motivate all of you to get some stuff done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going back to school on Wednesday, which by the time you're seeing this video will be last Wednesday. I'm also going to film a first day of year 13 for all of you, so make sure to watch out for that. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching. I definitely enjoyed filming this video and I'll see you all soon. Bye.